Hi, I'm Bruce Grace, Product Marketing Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And I want to talk to you about how you can better manage your quality concerns by adding ToolsNet 8 to your MicroTorque system. Now, as an example, let's say that you are a first-time MicroTorque customer and your main concern is target torque. You're not quite convinced that you need a multi-step or advanced tightening strategy, maybe because you don't know enough about it, or maybe you don't know if your application even needs it, and that's fair. ToolsNet 8 is a statistics and analytics software that can help you look at your tightening process in a closer view and help you recognize where quality concerns are and when you need to improve your tightening process. I want to show you one of many features on ToolsNet 8 that can help you manage quality with knowing very little to nothing about your tightening theory. Now, every time you tighten a screw on a MicroTorque system, a trace is produced. If you don't know what a trace is, it's simply a graph that follows the entire tightening step. Let's take a look. When I tighten a screw on the MicroTorque system, you can see that it produces a trace. Now, there are many different aspects with this trace that Atlas Copco can help you better understand. But again, we're using the example of someone who knows little to nothing about it. With that in mind, if you're confident that your screw is tightened all the way down and perfectly with your target torque met, this trace should look very similar or identical when another good tightening is completed. ToolsNet 8 has a feature called box analysis. Once you've completed a tightening and you're confident that it's everything you need, you can use that tightening and the trace produced as a reference trace in the ToolsNet 8 software. Once the reference trace is identified, you can box off an area that you do not want the trace to enter. The boxed off area would be abnormal from the reference trace, indicating an issue. So let's take a look at an example. Here I have a block that has two different size hole diameters, and I'm going to use the same tightening program to run down a screw into each one. Let's see what happens. You can see here that the screw that was tightened into the smaller hole diameter didn't actually tighten down all the way, and it's floating. This is because there's more friction, and you don't have parameters monitoring a seating point or an angle. However, the system still gave it an OK signal because it hit the target torque it needed. Now let's take a look at the traces. You can see that the screw tightened into the larger hole diameter has a trace that looks very similar to our initial trace and the screw tightened into a smaller hole diameter has a trace that looks abnormal from the reference trace. That's because the screw never actually hit a seating point. When there is even slight joint inconsistency and you're not using an advanced tightening strategy, quality issues like this can arise. So now that you have a better understanding of why traces look different and how you can use a box analysis to identify abnormality, let's see it in action. So here we have the ToolsNet 8 dashboard open. The first thing we're going to do is go to this Administration tab and Program Management. Now what we're doing is we're looking for the program we use to tighten down the screws. So I'm going to go to that program specifically, and over on the right you see a little plus sign. We're going to select that, and here you can see all the results. Uh, there's a time frame here. I have it listed as the last seven days. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these different results and find the one that was our perfect trace. In this case, it's going to be this result right here. So I'm going to select that trace, and I'm going to scroll down and save it. And again, this is going to be my reference trace. So every time the system sees a trace like the one we selected, it knows it was a good tightening. And we're going to set a box outside of that trace to catch any abnormalities. So now that we have our reference trace selected, we're going to go to the Analysis tab and select Box Analysis. We're going to select our date range, make sure it's falling within today, we're going to select all of the results, and then we actually have to go in and select our specific controller and then specific tightening program. Once we have all that selected, go ahead and hit select. It's going to pull up your reference trace right here, and we're going to zoom in by selecting zoom so we can see it a little bit better. We've now zoomed in and we can see it, and now we're going to select draw a box we're going to draw a box somewhere where the trace should not lie. So now once we have that box drawn, we're going to scroll down, and it's going to give us all the results that fall within that box. So now that we have our box analysis set up, and it's giving you all the data that you need to know when there's a problem or an abnormality, the next thing you can do 
Let's go back up to where we set that box analysis. And next to the Calculate tab, you can select Down and save this as a favorite. Now when you save this as a favorite, you want to give it a name and we'll say, we'll call this one Floating Screw. And you can add a description if you want, you don't have to. The one thing that we do want to do is make sure that Global is selected to save it as a Global Favorite because then what we're going to do from here is go in and set up notifications. So now that I've saved this box that we're looking at here as a Global Favorite, we can go into Notifications, we can go to Box Analysis, now you can see here is our global favorites that we've saved, so we're going to select that and hit next. Now we can either add a new email or select an email that we already have and click next. We can call it a name like floating screw if we want to. We can add a comment like abnormality. Hit next. Here's your summary. The recipients are myself, Bruce Grace at atlascopco.com. It's following the tool structure that we've selected. The name is floating screw, the comment is abnormality. And if we hit finish, now we've set up a notification here that every time the system detects a trace within that box that we drew, it's gonna send me an email. And so I'm aware of it. Again, this is just one of the many great features that ToolsNet 8 has to offer. But it's simple enough that even someone with little to no knowledge of the tightening process can understand it. If you see the quality issues persist, Atlas Copco can help you understand and produce multi-step or advanced tightening strategies that can eliminate these issues once they're identified. If you already understand the tightening process in depth, hopefully this video helped you gain knowledge about how you can use a box analysis in ToolsNet 8 to identify quality issues in your tightening process. If you have any more questions, please reach out to your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.